Good afternoon Jedwall Legend Seeds. Today we're going to be talking to you about sunflower desiccation. There's a lot of reasons people will desiccate sunflowers. Uh, one is to ensure getting your crop off in a timely manner to get away from a wind event. Uh, another very popular one is to get away from birds or try to get some of the hybrid off before you're losing things to uh, late season disease or anything along that line. So when you walk into a field of sunflowers you're going to want to look there's two different ways to scout for desiccation. Uh, one way is to take seed samples and take them back to a high moisture tester and do a moisture test. So generally the way that I like to take my samples for desiccation for a moisture tester is to take an average of 15 to 20 heads out in the field and what I'll do is I will cut a pie shaped piece out of heads so you get an average cross section of the plants across the field and I'll shell out the actual seeds into a sample bucket and then I'll take them back to the high moisture tester and do a moisture sample. So keep in mind, confections and oil sunflowers, we want to have a seed moisture of 35% to desiccate. Um, that's one of the best ways, that's why we won't be losing uh, in confections, test weight, or seed size, and in oil, uh, it's physiologically mature and we won't lose any oil. The second way that people will check for desiccation, which is probably the most popular, is to check for uh, the color of the back of the head and the bracts. What we're talking about here is we're, we take a head such as this one, we look for a really good uh, banana yellow head, uh, when it's banana yellow, and the bracts, and when we're talking about bracts, the bracts are the outermost leaf on the head. So when we have an average across the head of the bracts that you can take your thumb, and your thumbnail will cover the yellow and the rest of the bract is brown, we are, we are physiologically mature. So that's the two most popular ways. Uh, some guys will go in tandem. They will uh, they'll use uh, either both visual and, uh, and with uh, a moisture tester to, to, to designate that it's ready to go. And speaking about desiccation, we have two different uh, uh, ways that we can desiccate. One uh, is Roundup. Uh, Roundup is a pretty popular one. The, uh, one of the benefits of Roundup is it's systemic, so you don't open up the pores to uh, the elements to bring in head rot or plant disease. It's a good product if it looks like you're getting a little bit of a rainy season. Uh, it, it keeps your plants from taking that moisture in, bringing head rot and that. Uh, one of the other ways is to use uh, Paraquat, which is a salt that burns. Uh, that's a great product if it looks like you're going to have an open weather event where it's going to be really hot. We've seen lots of occurrences where people come in and, uh, and spray uh, the, the uh, Paraquat or Gramoxone and have a really good burn and be harvesting right after the window is available. So on both products you cannot harvest for seven days after you uh, apply it. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're harvesting. And uh, both good products. One's a better product if you're going to have some moisture coming in and one's a better product if it looks like you're going to have heat and, and no moisture.